Hi there, welcome to Red State Update. My name's Jackie Bro. I'm Dunlap. Jackie, have you heard about the 30 day sex challenge? What? The 30 day sex challenge. You don't know about old sex challenge? What do you oh, mean? Oh, Jackie, it's awesome. There's a church in Florida that has challenged the married members of its congregation to have sex with each other. 30 days in a row. Well, hell, that don't sound like no church I ever heard of. Oh, it's not. It's called the Relevant Church. Well, that ain't no real church. Hey. What are you talking about, man? I went to their MySpace, and it said they meet every week informally at the Italian Club. There you go. See what I mean? I think it's cool as hell, Jackie. Can you imagine? 30 days of sex straight, or you go to hell. Uh, That'd be pretty funny. That's one way to get congregation excited. Well, the men. The women, eh. Because women don't like to have sex. Oh, you not. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It'd be funny like said the Lord's Supper, the pastor had a little trace of Viagra. Oh. Come on, this writes itself. Deacon praying, dear Lord, please let me get my wife into the doggy style. Oh, hell. Hey, come on, know. this is awesome. I got a whole list of these I right don't want to hear none of it. Listen, let me tell you this, though. I think this preacher's probably bit off more than he can chew because you know these preachers already get crazy calls from their crazy congregation people all the time. Now, this dude's got to deal with uh, hey, preacher, uh, me and Jeannie was trying to do what you said about the sex and all, but she's getting awful sore. Oh, hell, I don't want I don't this. think I want my preacher saying the word lube. No preacher ought to be saying the word lube. Hell, what do you tell the people that want married? They supposed to be running on carrying on like that, too? No, that's the only bad part of the plan, Jackie, is that if you're not married, you're supposed to abstain from sex for 30 days. Well, that wouldn't be no problem for you. Hey. Actually, that brings up a good point. Like, if you're supposed to not have sex and you're like, yeah, you trying to get laid, but you keep getting shot down, is that enough to get me into heaven? It'll take a lot more than that to get you in heaven, boy.